Well, I always wanted to be like Han Solo growing up. Hi, my name is Carson Setter, and I'm a pilot. I hated flying growing up. It was just a discovery flight where you just basically go up for a half hour. I went up once and was like, yep, yeah, I could get used to this. And here I am. I mean, there's a lot of exciting things about flying. I'd love to go to Antarctica or something like that, flying some ice. Personally, for me though, I'm more interested in bush flying. My dream job would be working for Con Air, doing aerial firefighting. A little more cowboy, help the people of beautiful Canada, save their livestock, save their land, save the forest, have fun while you're doing it. They don't fly themselves, despite what you hear. It's really just an extension of your own body. I mean, the air is the fun part, but you know, the ground is where the real work happens. Prep work and studying and... Well, the whole idea of a flight is that everything's pre-planned. Everything's very uneventful. You know what's going to happen. Obviously, that's not always the case. The other day, I was finishing my climb up from Penticton, and it was super hot, so it took a long time. And I was just around where I wanted to be, and I started to lean the mixture, hit a big bump. So I like pulled it out and the, it just goes I push it back in and like aim it down and I just got it back. But uh, yeah, maybe I shit myself a little bit. And there's nothing like being engulfed in a blue sky. It really gives you a lot of perspective being up high and uh, I'm happy I'm able to share it with people because it's a blessing. My name's Carson Setter, I'm a pilot, and you know what it is. Thanks so much for watching episode one. I just want you to know and remember, these people might be extraordinary, but they are by no means special. They're just like you, human. It's the great equalizer. We're all equal, but none the same. Trendsetter, set the standard, live for tomorrow. You can see there's no bathroom in here. I had to pee in a bottle on a solo flight a couple times. That's always fun. Now I got one of those hospital things, a little more easy aim.